and the world. And that is not an exaggeration to see this show. And our membership has grown to record levels. I would invite you to look at the comment book on your way out that's on the desk. What you will see over and over is, thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis Oliver. And so I add, thank you, Dennis, for making this happen. It made a, it made a difference. Davis, I wanted to start uh, with one observation, is that, uh, that it's all of this work and this place and this adventure here uh, is the product of uh, um, a cultural situation in which I grew up in, in Texas, but then in California, which is that moment in a young culture when you don't need all the smart people to run the stores. <laughs> and so that is, there is a moment in Texas and Los Angeles at that point where uh, there were just all these kind of smart people wandering around without an oil lease to sell. And so uh, uh, as, 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 a, uh, as a result, you have this sort of enormous generation of, of American artists from, from this one time. And I can uh, assure you that they are temperamentally a great deal different than the subsequent generations who came along. Well, I was going across the country uh, looking for locations for EC Rider with uh, my production manager, Paul Lewis, the two of us. And uh, we came down from Farmington through Dulce, so on Coyote, Abigail. got down to Farmington and uh, we had a choice to go to Santa Fe or Taos. Yeah. And uh, Paul said, Paul was driving. He said, uh, uh, now, if we go right to Taos, uh, uh, it's an art community. And I said, well, I don't want to go to any art community. <laughs> Make an easy rider here. I, the art community is not what I want. You know? He said, "Okay, we'll go left." We went to Taos. <laughs> so when I got in the plaza, I was getting out of the car, and this young Indian male ran up to me and said, "Look, look, the mountain is smiling." And I said, "It is." He said, yeah, it's smiling, it's smiling at you. I know where you need to go. I know where you need to go. I need to take you there. And Paul says, come on, man, I'm hungry. Let's go inside here. And I said, wait a second. He knows where to, anyway, he took me to New Buffalo, which was actually what I was looking for. I was looking for a commune. I had been able to really find one. I found New Buffalo. Then I found the interior of the, of the prison jail, which used to be in the plaza, which had all that great graffiti on it because it was an art community and a lot of artists ended up <laughs> drawing on the jailhouse. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's where we shot the scene with Jack Nicholson when we were all thrown in jail. And then uh, I used the hot springs uh, down, at the, down at the river. Uh, yeah, that was incredible because uh, when we shot there, uh, Peter had pneumonia and he was in the hospital. So I shot with the two girls and myself, thinking I would come back then and, and shoot Peter later, which I did, except the water had dropped. <laughs> 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 it looks okay in the movie, what do I know? <laughs> so, uh, so that's the way I got here. And then, uh, then I bought the Mabel Dodge Luan house when I decided to come back and, and edit the last movie.